Hello, welcome to Don's Workshop. This is part six of my Lego Ferrari Daytona SP3 build. Last time got started on the rear differential here and getting these wheels on. So let's continue. Okay, now we gotta get these, these connected here with these, whatever we're doing here. We have uh, stud pins go in here. And then we put these green bars in to the pins and do that twice. Here's the lime green again. They're sneaking the lime green in. I think that's something they're trying to do because there's no real reason to have the lime green in here, but okay. So now we're on the top again, and we have to put that over those brown axles over here and go this way, I guess. The green goes on the, towards the wheel side. Let's put one on each side here. I'm not sure what that's doing, but Okay, got two I-beams, and, okay, stud pins, and an orange pin like that, we'll do stud pins, and an orange pin, long orange axle connector, and that, those two, Okay, so they're going over top of these pieces and there's this black beam here that we're gonna go into. So which side does this go? And this goes on this side and it's gonna connect to that red pin, which is the important one because it needs to hang on to something. And can I get that onto there? There we go, and then there's this black pin at the bottom as well, and there, and then the axles. Just have to slide. Oh, there's this other black pin at the top here. Push that through. There, get that on there all the way through, and there we go. That's one. Now we can do the other side. Once again, this red pin is the important one. And then get this black pin, the axles, push those through, and get the other black pin on there, and everything is pushing through. Like that. So now those are all held together. And symmetric. Okay. Okay, red axles. A red axle and a long red axle. Or wait. Wait a minute. Okay, that goes on. That does go there. Okay, and then that just has to go here. And these. Okay, we're on the bottom again. This is the bottom. And we have these going in. Uh, it's one. And that goes in there. Okay. And then we have a small blue gear. And a large blue gear. Light blue gear. And they mesh together and that's meshing with that so all those are meshing together now now that's going to drive the wheels okay now we have the red beam the long 15 black beam 
Okay. And then that whole thing connects to these all these pins on here. The red beam connecting to the red pins and the black beam connecting to the black pins. Okay. Now we have the, this now connecting to the gear box. Okay, now this goes this way. And how are we gonna get this all together? Okay. If it makes sense. Okay, that's sliding on top. Okay, those axles go there. Okay, we have these red pins are the only things that are connecting on the top. And that's it. So these red pins have to go into those T-bars. And then the rest is just axles sliding into holes, I believe. And that should be together. Now does it move everything? Oh, we're moving stuff. That doesn't move anything. Oh, there we go. It does, it's moving all the way through. It is not easy to move, but it's moving. <laughs> Okay. Okay, that's that's great. Okay, that's all hooked up. Okay, we're just sh showing me. I'm just sh seeing that it's hooked up. It looks good. Oh, anything I'm supposed to be doing? I'm supposed to push those orange pins down. Okay. Let's get those two orange pins pushed down. Make sure nothing else got missed there. No. Okay, those are down. So now that's held on good. And now we have this piece with a long blue pin. And that is going to go in. Where's the gray beam? Oh, that is the gray beam. And that goes in the middle of that gray beam. Okay, so we have this beam, and that is sitting, hooking that to the end of this, or this pin over here, and then I push the blue pin through, there we go, oh here we go, the engine. The engine, put that over there, start the engine here, okay, now we have that, and then we have all these. And we just go like that and just Got to get six of them together. Okay. It is, uh, they actually did a V12 <laughs> with all 12 cylinders in the Lego. That is impressive. Okay, and we have all 12, and then the two pins on the end, or six, it's all six. Okay, and then that has to, this piece, and we're hooking that up there. This is gonna be a, a little bit tricky to get <laughs> 12 cylinders to stick in here, isn't it? It was tricky enough getting six. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. Now we're building the, the 12 cylinders. And they go like that. 
and one of these. It should be, yeah, it should be that way, right? Towards that side, and then the red axle. that and the other one just continue with those yeah this is gonna be a fun time getting those uh, pistons into the cylinders at the same time. Let's see. I mean, it's tricky enough when it's on those six cylinder engines. And yeah, all the way over here. And finally, this way or oh wait the axle's not supposed to go there oh that's where the axle goes the axle isn't supposed to go there this is supposed to go in the last piece okay uh, let's hope that is correct right okay now I have to pop this piston pistons on and try to get everything lined up enough that it's going to stay in those cylinders. Okay. I keep having it the wrong way. That's the way. Okay. Um, I don't, okay, that is right. Would go okay. So you're supposed to do that. I need to get the axle to go in there. Okay, let's put this over on this side first. This one here, that axle is supposed to push into there, I think. So, this is actually going to be, let's see, let's make the other side <laughs> first and then, because it's always been tricky to just not do it with the other side. solid piece is just not connected. I mean, you can try to put those in, but I'm not sure that's going to work. Okay, so now you have to get these 
their holes here. They're never gonna go in. There. Okay. And then that's gonna go like that. Hold that together. Okay, and then the axle. Well, the axle's gonna go in there. Is that kind of right? Is that the right? Well, it doesn't matter. It's gonna spin all the way around anyway. Here we go. Oh, there we go. It does it does go. It does go. It does go. We're good. Okay. Uh and now I need this three beam with two long blue pins in it, and that's gonna go in here. Okay, now this goes on the other side here. There we go, now we're together. It's all together, massive engine. Okay. Okay, that's going there, and then two, oh, we gotta hook these to two axle pins. Just plug those in, there and there. And this gray axle goes here, it's got a little lip on it. And put the collar. It's a 5.5 length axle. Okay, and then we take this red beam with an axle, 90 degree axle connection on it. Put that on top there. And that hooks in, it's gonna hook into that axle connection on the engine here. Oh, we're in the right spot. But, oh, it goes this way. There we go. Oh wait, that didn't go in. There we go, now it's in there. There we go, that's nice and functioning correctly. Okay, now that is gonna sit on top here. Oh wait, did I put this on the wrong way? I put that on the wrong way, and of course I did. Of course I did, that goes this way. There we go, now it's the right way. Okay, and then that's gonna go on this way. And it shows the blue pins go into this red beam here. Now I think we're just sitting everything sitting on top. Just the blue pins going in there. Okay, now everything's sitting on top on the front here. Okay, now where's our gear that's gonna transfer that rotation? And we have two articulating, articulating joints here. 
one by one beam, another articulating joint. And that is connecting from that axle that's running to the motor to nothing. It's supposed to sit here. So it's gonna, oh, there's gonna be an, a, something in there. Okay, we're gonna take this gray beam we're going to put this blue gear in here. Run that through there. And get that articulating joint connected. Okay, now that's all connected. So that's connected there. And then these, this gear is going to have to connect up here. Okay, and then we have this beam. That's going to connect on the other side here, isn't it? So we gotta pop that on there. And onto that blue pin on the back there. Okay. No, that's in there. That isn't gonna go anywhere. And we need one of these. Put a pin in there. Okay, we are that up. That goes here. Plug that in there. And then that is supposed to... What is that doing? <laughs> oh, I have it in the wrong spot. That's what's... It's not doing anything because it's supposed to go up here. There, that's more like it. Now that's supposed to go, there is... Okay, and then it should connect all the way through there. Is something supposed to go in there? Ah, uh, we'll just push it through, okay. So that should be holding that together. And we have this. And now we're hooking that in here and also folding it down. And I think these are going to just get pinned in okay with orange. Long orange pins and they're going from the inside this frame. Okay, let's try to get those. I'm going to put those in like Lots of times we put these orange pins in first. Why, why did we wait until now to put this one in? Lots of these go in first and then you slide them through later. Why these ones didn't? Okay, now those are in there and there's one more. It is in the red. This red piece here. Okay, that's okay, that goes there. Also from the inside, slide that in there. This gray one, stud pin on one side. Okay, you got a pin with a black one by. One. Ooh, there we go. Now we get involved with these. I gotta do this twice. Okay. Okay, do that twice. And those. What are those heck hooking up to? Okay. Let's put it like that. And there is that and this side what are, they're not hooked to anything though they're just floating we have two gears here which I don't think I missed putting one on the front I didn't miss putting one on the front 
I don't see where the other gears are going. Like, that's moving, and that moves. And the only way to hook them up would be over here. That seems to be the gear that does it. So, I guess we will have to keep an eye on that, because now I don't see where that's going. This is the one problem with having so many parts to put together between bags. Well, that's the next part. I have two gears, which I am sure one of them is going here. And another one. This seems missing. I got a feeling that gear goes in there. I'll have to take a check to see where that gear goes. I think I know where it goes. So that has been part six of my Lego Ferrari Daytona SP3 build. So got all the motor or got the engine built, the 12, the massive 12 cylinder engine. Uh, things are moving. Uh, the instructions don't have everything connected yet with all the gears. So I don't know uh, why we're not hooking that one up yet, but maybe it's cause it actually has to connect to the front too before we continue. Anyway, gonna be starting the uh, front suspension next from the looks of it so if you'd like to see that uh, please subscribe thank you for watching and take it easy